think you all know why we're here, because we were able to log in over 195,000 votes for our kid correspondents. by so many people who are here today and as you know so many people that weren't here all across the state all across the nation they voted in to help us win so that's fabulous to have such a good community sport thank you to all of you and thank you for all our special guests coming today there's to uh, enjoy our assembly on a special day okay next up I'm going to introduce our special guests Okay. From WGME Channel News 13, we have Jeff Peterson coming to celebrate with us. Can you give him a warm welcome, please? school this morning. Hey, this is how many talked about 195,000 votes. Are you kidding me? A lot to be proud of. Give yourself a big round of applause. We are so excited to be here. Even my photographer, Mike Parker. Put your hands together for Mike Parker. There, uh, it says, please no eating or drinking in the gym. I did not see a sign that said no screaming in the gym. So, on the count of three, I want you guys to let out a nice scream and cheer. Parents, that means you can plug your ears. So, on the count of three, I want them to be able to hear this way up north in Prescott, okay? And way down south in Boston, all right? So, when I count to three, parents, you can put your fingers in ears at two, okay? Because at three, they're going to say, you got it? All right, they're going to start screaming at three, all right? Are you guys ready? One, two, three! <laughs> Moms and dads, grandmas, grandmas, uncles and aunts, how you doing out there? You guys survive? Wow, great job. You guys, we are so excited to be here. You know why we're here? We're going to sign over here because Acton Elementary School rocks! You know, we went back and picked the 20 schools to take part in our February 2011 edition of Kid Correspondent, and we really love to get down in York County. The quote-unquote smaller schools really get out and have the community support. You really can see all the, the pictures that I was emailed and also uh, sent on Facebook with you guys having all these voting parties and everything. But I wasn't invited! What's the deal with that? But you guys look like you're having a great time and that's what Kid Correspondence is all about. You know, having a great time, it's all about the kids and you guys really uh, made it a lot of fun with all the, the, the messages sent to me and with the online voting and everything. And so it's a pleasure for BS uh, to hear this morning at your special assembly. Uh, I would like uh, your principal, Trisha Halley, to please come on down. Come on down. of hardware to give to your principal and this will be do you guys have a trophy case yes. well you better build a big one because this is the trophy you guys are getting to be the 2011 winner edition coach champions <laughs> let's talk about first of all the the, uh, the, the moms and dads the aunts and the uncles the friends, the cousins, uh, you know, the dogs, the cats, y'all got out to vote all over the country, all over the state, all over the world. Uh, how much fun was it doing all the parties doing? Oh, 
it was absolutely fun. We were real cheerleaders to each other online, on Facebook, letting each other know wh where we were in the standings. And uh, people stayed up to midnight, right to the end, to vote for us. And, and now, not just that, but the, the two kid correspondents you guys have, by the way, two hands. Two hands, by the way. We'll talk about you two here correspondents. That they really are really gone there. Really did, did a great job. Big smiles and a lot of energy. Really had fun doing it. And when we were here shooting it, uh, really uh, uh, very creative and just had a lot of fun putting this together. But but the two kids really helped shine and, and make your school really positive. Absolutely. They are two of our most wonderful kids. Um, a lot of our students here just love their school. And Kyle and Brooke um, had been playing reporters for several times at their recess time. So they had been practicing before this even came about. But when everyone saw the video on your news show, they knew how fantastic these kids were. All right, Mrs. Halliday, pretty good, huh? Mr. And speaking of those two student reporters, Come on down, Kyle House and Brooke Kamiri, where are you? Yeah. You guys hide back there? I have something special just for you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Kyle! Yeah. Should we get a rap going or something? <laughs> Dancing? Alright. Well, you have to sit. Wait, can you tell they were hands, right? First of all, let me, let, me, let me talk to Kyle. How exciting was it when you found out uh, that you were going to get trophies and were coming to your school? Um, very. <laughs> Are you that uh, quiet and have no words to say at home with your parents? Ah, uh, no. I, I got a feeling you're one of those kids who have the outside voice all the time, right? Even inside. Hey, how about uh, how about just a, a, a walk around town, walk around school, man? You're like the big star now, huh? Yeah, sort of. All right, let's, let's go over to Brooke now. Brooke, let's talk about how, how many times you think you voted. How late did you stay up? With, with, with your mom and dad and everybody really good deal? Let you stay up till like midnight, eleven o'clock at least for one or two nights. Well, actually, on the last day of voting, we all came to our computer lab at the school, and we had the <laughs> Till midnight? How cool is that on a school night? You stay up till midnight? Wow! Put your hands together again for Kyle! Please come on up to you with your trophy. Here's what I want you guys to do. This is your time to share your trophies with the student body and the parents and everybody. I want you guys to start over here, right here. You can high five, you can do whatever you want, but walk around just like they do after they win the Stanley Cup in the NHL. I want you to share it with your fans and go for it. You guys can scream and yell, whatever you want to do, go!
one fine art very dear to me has always been music. I played trombone through my entire life while my kids playing music. So I really wanted to make sure that the music was represented today with the band. So why don't we have the band play one more song? So take it away. Put your hands together.
trophies, one for the school and one each for the kid correspondent. Also, uh, the school receives also something very special, courtesy of our sponsor, NextGen, the NextGen College Investment Plan. Of course, very important to start planning for your college education for your child. I'd like to introduce right now, from NextGen, Karen Bigu. Karen, come on up. Give her a big round of applause. Wow, what a school. I came here a little bit early, and your principal walked me around your school. I want to come here. <laughs> I mean, really, this is an awesome school. Is Kyle and Brooke's parents are here, is that right? Could you come up? Next year we have another one. How about check out this banner right here? Isn't that cool? You gotta hang out in your school. And not only do you get the banner to hang in your school, but your teacher, your school, will also receive five hundred dollars from the next gen plan that they can use to send their teachers to a financial literacy summit being held in Augusta in May. And why this is important for all of you is, think about it, all of your teachers went to college, right? They had to go to college to learn how to be teachers, right? Well, now that they're teachers, they need to learn how to bring more tools to you as students to help you prepare so that you can someday go to college too. So we're going to send them to the Financial Literacy Summit, which is a place where teachers go to get tools and learn about resources. And guess what? They're going to bring them all back to you in the classroom so that you can be better prepared when it's your time to go to college. So once again, congratulations, Acton School rocks. So here's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to hear Acton Rocks. And I want to start with the parents though, okay? I have, I have a lot of faith that the parents can do that too. And the staff. The parents, I mean adults. Now I'll help out too. Mike, you gonna help too? Alright, the Hyper Mike said she's gonna help. Jeannie, up on the band, she's gonna help out too, right? Oh yeah, that's Helena, you gonna help too? Mom's up here, you gonna help? Alright, so parents, I want you guys to count of three. We're gonna do it three times. Acton Rocks, Acton Rocks, okay? Help me out. I want the kids to leave her going. Man, my parents are loud. Man, they're cool. All right? I don't know if they'll say the cool part, but at least they might say you guys are loud. Plug your ears, step aside, tap the kids. Can you guys do it three times after rocks really loud? Yeah. Alright, parents, pull out your ear, pull out your fingers, you're ready. chores, okay? That means you owe her a hundred hours of chores. That means washing the dinner. Look at the look he's got now right now. Right, how many hours have you spent? Embarrassingly large amount. A large amount. Did you hear that? It's going to be nice to your moms when you get home today, okay? That means what? Washing the dishes, right? No way. No way? Taking out the trash? No. Or you know what? If none of that works, it 
always like a nice little massage right around their neck and their shoulders, okay? You guys got that? <laughs> all right, you guys. All right, we came all the way down here to celebrate an acting championship. So at the count of three, I want you guys to eat one more time a nice big yelp for us, okay, before we, before we check out, okay? Are you, are you guys ready? I just want, huh? What do you want to yell? You want to do that? Oh, you want to do acting on the rocks? You do? Okay, let's try acting on the rocks. You know what I like better? I heard you guys are wildcats. So. How about this? We're going to go wildcats rock. How's that? Ready? One, two, three. season opener against the Texas Rangers. I'm, I'm, I'm a little awestruck right now, but ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have to call me Six o'clock in the morning, and uh, we will have this on actually twice. The piece we're running that are featuring you guys, and I'll bring out some acting here as well. Okay, how does that sound? So, at least for a couple of minutes on television, I can be a wildcat too, huh? News 13. It is all about the kids. Uh, we love this uh, program, Kid Course Month. We've been doing it since last year. We have featured a hundred schools, and let me tell you something. You guys, the top three when it comes to voting, out of a hundred schools in Southern and Central Maine, and you think about uh, the communities that we have featured, everything from Augusta, Portland, Lewiston, Auburn, some of the big cities and the big schools that have 500, 600 students, 700 some of them, and you guys have beat them out. How does that sound? It, it really is a lot to be proud of, your community coming together, student body, moms and dads, the staff. Uh, for you guys to vote for this for that five days over the weekend uh, at the beginning of March. And
and uh, really make a difference and just show the kids what it is and how special it is being part of a community like Acton. You guys did a great job. Uh, we love York County. We love Acton. And thank you very much for coming out. And again, congratulations on uh, being the Kid Correspondent Champions uh, for 2011. And uh, thanks again for inviting us into your school to be able to do that. We really appreciate it. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.